welcome to Kaz's Midnight Snack, a branch off of Me My College Cooking Show. So right away, I'm Jazz. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm being quiet because it's nighttime. But everyone has midnight snacks, and I'm going to show you some delicious, very bad for you, not healthy at all midnight snacks that are very, very good for midnight snacks, all to yourself. You'll thank me later. I promise you. Today I'm going to show you some edible cookie dough, because of course, how could you not have edible cookie dough? You don't have to worry about salmonella from eggs, because this has no eggs. And this is just the right amount for one person. Two, if you want, eat less, I guess. Really, just one person. It's really, really easy. Um, so you're gonna start out with a quarter of a cup of flour. This, I don't make gluten-free because um, usually I'm the only one who eats it and I don't need to eat gluten-free, but it works the same with gluten-free flour. Quarter cup of flour. really fast so it's easy to be quiet so you don't wake anyone up. A third of a cup of sugar. And why yes, I am wearing a panda onesie. How nice of you to notice. Into the bowl. Just, just a pinch of salt. That was, that was too much salt. Just a pinch of salt. Maybe two pinches of salt. Now, just mix this together with a fork. Super easy. These are sugar cookies dough. Sugar, well, I guess they're not sugar cookies. It's just sugar cookie dough, since it's edible cookie dough. But I, I guess I can do other different types of cookies. I'm adding in sprinkles, just because I can. And why not? You can add anything you want, really. It's a sugar cookie. But since you're not cooking it, you don't have to worry about chocolate chips melting or anything like that. It's super easy. Now, as you can see, the flour and the sugar is nice and combined. I have two tablespoons of milk. I already measured that out. I'm going to pour that in. And now I'm going to mix in just... This milk is not open. Oops. I'll just take maybe a teaspoon of vanilla. I, I measure it by eye. That looks good enough. And two tablespoons of butter. I'm using vegan butter today just because I ran out of regular butter. I think I'm out. It's frozen. You want your butter to be soft. Um, so if you have a big old stick of butter, usually um, sticks of butter will have measurements on them. Um, but if you have something like this, this comes in a brick of butter. Just a brick of butter. Um, so then you can just you can just take it and measure out. That's a tablespoon, sort of. Actually, I'm going to say this whole thing is two tablespoons of butter, so I'm just going to put that entire thing in. It's not very much. Anyways. Basil! Shh! I'm trying not to wake my parents! Anyways. Then, mash up your butter and your milk into your flour quietly until it's smooth. And we'll speed this process up because it might take a few minutes. Now, as you've been mashing this with your fork for a little while, it's become very nice and smooth, just like cookie dough but without egg, so you can eat it. Basically, you, as you mash it up, you want to make sure that you've got all the butter chunks out, because even though butter chunk isn't going to hurt you, but it's not pleasant to eat just chunk of butter. Mm. Now, 
Now it's all mixed. Now oh, whatever you want. Nine sprinkles. Just guesstimate how many you want. I only put a little bit. And then you just stir them in. And just like that, you have a bowl of edible sugar good dough. Just for you. Mmm. Thanks so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe because I really, really want to go to college. College is really, really expensive and I need money and it's good. Share it with your friends. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoy your cooking dough.